Okie dokie, everybody. You're here at the Fox Den with the Papa Fox, Peter Voss, and we're going to continue playing Kingdoms and Castles in episode two. Okay. Now, I had listened to, the, I had recorded, this is my second time recording this video, and I had listened to the uh, special effects and music volume, and it sounded like I was talking with absolutely nothing happening, so we're just going to max it out for now. Let's go ahead and load our save file. And get the alarm started. I want to, to have this going. We don't want year seven. I'm actually going to. Oh! Oh. <laughs> Load and. Add. Oh, okay, so we can delete those. We're going to start off with this one. Okay. Just gonna let this run just for a second. Hooray for being unprepared at the start. Okay. So, where we last left off, uh, we had built a road here. I'm actually going to demolish this because I figured out that a quarry has to be adjacent to a stone block. And I figured out that we can actually close down these farms because we have quite a bit of food. So I'm actually going to do that. Let's close this off. Close that off. And one of the neat little things is these guys have like little names and everything. And sometimes they'll have flavor text, like Ruby One Kenobi, she's 28 years old. She likes the sound of rain and she's an apprentice farmer. Okay. Oh, and we have enough for our quarry. Actually, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and put our quarry. I know it's a quarry, I'm just being silly when it comes to sound. Okay. Uh, I can hear the music. I just checked my headphones. Okay. Hopefully this won't be uh, too loud on the recording, but I'm just at a loss for getting uh, modifying this uh, the settings so that we can allow you guys to uh, uh, or y'all to hear the uh, the sound of the game. I really like the music. And one of the other things I've found is that. Uh, over here you say, okay, fertile soil, but here it's barren. If you check here, we got a very fertile patch of land. And hello, Snarf. That's, that's my cat, my, my big 28-pounder. <laughs> he just decided he was going to come in and, and take a look at what uh, his uh, human daddy is, is doing. <laughs> oh, cats. They just want to be part of everything. Well, it looks like they're building the quarry. That's good. Um, the next thing we want to do is town. We want to build a well, uh, but we can't do that yet. Charcoal maker 15. I'm kind of tempted to build the charcoal and get that started, and then maybe chop down some of these trees. Uh, because, you know, they want char uh, charcoal to keep warm and, and everything and maybe cook their food, because, you know, everybody wants to cook food. <laughs> That's something we all want to have happen. Oh, yeah, and you'll see these little uh, little guys, uh, or little villagers, just pull out stone right out of the walls. They're like, they're like telekinetics. And, of course, they're going to chop the stone, and it's going to drop off right here and I just you know, bring it on back to the keep it's where we keep things <laughs> oh, okay that was just that was terrible that was probably the worst worst joke ever I swear a lot of the uh, puns on my Twitter are D&D are &D focused but they're a little bit higher quality so <laughs> there we go yeah, this is a quite a fun game. Um, I really, really am quite pleased with how it's turned out so far. And go away. Go away. Go away. <laughs> uh, oh. I wonder if you can mess around with the birds. No, it doesn't look like. It looks like they'll just uh, fly off wherever they want. Right. Um. Hmm. Oh, right, I ran into this problem last time. They're just all going to walk, uh, work the quarry. Um, I wonder if we can manage workers like we could in Banished. It doesn't look like... doesn't look like we can yet. 
Uh, we're going to build the uh, uh, well right here. Again, this might not be the optimal placement for things, but I am still learning, and this is uh, more or less a uh, more or less a blind playthrough. Sorry, I had to close the door here, there for a second. Okay, got our four stone going. Let's go ahead and speed this up because we don't want to be sitting here all day while they just pick up little uh, gray blocks and bring them on by. Oh, cool! It actually uh, pops up the little uh, resource indicator. That's neat. Okay, I can dig that. Mm. Yeah, I will make it more pleasant for people, but unfortunately, right now we're, we're just taking off. Calm down, calm down, advisors. Your king has has heard your requests, and they have been noted. But right now, we have things we have to do first. Oh, okay. We're going to reopen one of these. Not fully staffed. I know it's not fully staffed. Huh. Hmm. Let's see. Is that, gonna, is that person going to work on it? You know, I'll bet I'm just going to have to close this. And we're going to have... Okay, there we go. Now we're going to reopen this. Okay, that's a little cumbersome. You know? I kind of wish we didn't have to do that. Um, I hope they, they add in a, uh, work, uh, a worker manager later on. Because uh, that was very useful for Banish. You could actually control what people do. So... Now, that was a little disappointing. But, you know, it's not a game-breaking thing. I mean, I, I don't think that uh, there's ever going to be a, a point where a game has absolutely everything you want to have happen, happen. Yeah, I want to get this well in there, because that's going to be our first line of defense against burning buildings. <laughs> I think we're actually going to start chopping down some of these trees here. Definitely want to get this food going. I think we'll just have one farmer working for right now because that, that should be enough of our for our little tiny uh, village to go on. <sighs> well, there we go. Let's see what our advisors have to say. Sire, our food stores are running low. Perhaps more farms could help. Well, no, I just didn't have them staffed. Sire, we have new construction, but no one available to build it. Perhaps we should temporarily close other buildings and build new homes. I, I will. Hmm. And as always, our uh, our general does not have much to say at the moment. We're already in year six. Um, I know they're just dropping stuff off, but if they could do that a little faster, that would be great. Um, I think we're actually going to close down the quarry because we don't need that right now. Right now we just need wood. Um, industry. Forester requires actually five stone. No, 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 we want this open. Okay, so eventually they're going to build this stuff, but we want that uh, stone going. And we're gonna make a uh, forester's lodge right over here. Now because there's a patch of highly fertile land, we, uh, oh, oh, a little bit of graphical glitch is going on there, huh. We're going to make this our little uh, farming area once we get to it. Oh, happiness is bumped up again. Well, Axis, we want access to charcoal. Okay. Are they uh, bringing over the stone yet? Nope. Nope. Not yet. They're chopping down a trees. Okay, industry. We can get a Forester's Lodge going. Oh, too far away from a road. Dang it, I always forget that. Okay. Actually gonna build it out of the side here. Industry. Oh, now we have to get more wood. Dag nebit. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and close down the quarry. It looks like there's just going to have to be a lot of managing of, of what all we have open at, a, at any given moment. You know? Okay, industry. We have enough stone. We just need to get the wood going. Awesome beans. Still have enough food. None can find a home. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so let's actually we're going to uh, uh, spend a little bit of resources building a building a new hovel. Okay, industry, Forester's Lodge. Yeah, that's 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 probably. Uh, Oh, nearby usable trees. Actually, let's see if we can get that going right here. Let's, uh, I wanna. Okay. Chops and replants trees. Cannot be too near other foresters. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's that. Industry, Forester's Lodge. Hmm. Okay, that seems that seems good. We're gonna put our Forester's Lodge right there. Two, one road going right. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. That should be good. Food store is running low. We're okay. Oh, sire! The peasants think you're an excellent ruler. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I deeply appreciate that. that. That just makes my day. Okay. I think we're actually going to stop it here. If you've enjoyed, feel free to leave a like or comment or even share the video. And of course, if you particularly enjoyed, subscriptions are always appreciated, but of course not required. It's great to see you all here at the Fox Den. I hope you'll pull up a chair next time for some more Kingdoms and Castles in Episode 3. All right, take care. Bye.